Hi, um, I'm back. Give me a sec though. I forgot to take my meds. Okay, now I'm here for real. Okay. Hum, 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 hum. There. We go. <laughs> Hi. 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 Okay. Okay, wait, let me read everything. Hi, honey, love you, bish. Love you. Love you, love you, love you, love you, love you. Mwah. Um, give me a sec, though. There we go. Um, how have you all been? Hi, honey. Hi, silly belly. Hi. Floofums. I need to get used to calling you Floofums. These black borders? Wait, what do you mean? What do you mean, black borders? What? Okay, uh, b basically, dunk is uh, I have to cancel my monthly stuff before it builds my bank out of money. I have to use for commissions. Oh, yeah, it's okay. It's totally okay. It. Also, I still got my tab muted. The guy I'm working with to improve my voice EQ is busy at the moment. Well, back back to fox hiding. Oh, hi. Okay, hi. Now you can hear me. But yeah, it's totally okay. It's totally okay, Arashi. Blue thumbs. Fuck, I keep on forgetting to say that. <laughs> but yeah, it's totally okay. Um, we'll get that next slot someday. Hi, honey. Hi, flu fams. Hi. Hi, boss. How have you all been doing this past few days? What have you all been up to? Uh, oh, and yeah, flu fams. Once you do get that art, I wanna, I wanna like, I wanna see it. I like seeing art of other people, honestly. Dum 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 bum bum. And, you know, <laughs> today might be the saddest day in my history of um, coffee making. It, okay, not sad, sad, but it's sad that I was trying to make latte art for the first time in my life. And right when I was thinking, right when I was making a somewhat decent latte art, my my sister called out my name Melly 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 and then she ran over to my side to the side that was holding the cup of milk and she bumped into it <laughs> and i accidentally dunked one whole cup of milk onto the coffee so it overflowed and <laughs> i had nothing left no art Coffee was like 50% of what it used to be. Oh, give me a sec. Someone knocking? No, I don't think so. Dum, 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 dum. 
No. <laughs> hey, hi, lovely. How are you? Welcome and hi to Sparta. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. I I was making that heart shaped latte art. And you know how we keep on pouring and pouring and pouring and pouring and pouring? Yeah, that, that never happened anymore. <laughs> Uh, wait, wait a sec. Dum, dum. Okay, let me just read a bit because I don't know if I missed something. Also, don't mind if I'm lurking or, or don't respond to anything. I'm working with some friendos on improving my OBS voice settings. Oh, thank you for the host though, Flufums. Now that you mention it. Th now that you mention it, I think I should improve my audio more one of these days when I have the free time. Probably add in some echo from time to time as just a uh, turn on, turn off kind of thing. Hum, hum, hum. You have no idea what the art's gonna be. It may be finished by mid-April. Yo, I'm excited for that. Hi, Sparta. What have you been up to? I hope you've been doing well. I... I have some plans, too. And not to spoil anything, but, like, yesterday I had too many shoots or of something. I, I just feel so tired <laughs> from shooting so many things. With... Uh, the new model and stuff i have to be honest it's good though it's looking real good i'm excited to show it to all of you but uh, i always have this feeling inside of me that i just want to reveal everything straight up and you know not have the hassle of going to a debut or something but i'm like yeah you know what i want to try it at least once <laughs> at, at least once by the way our messy farm yes our messy farm lovely we are redesigning our messy farm I'm trying to make this farm everyone's farm you know one day <laughs> come up on stargy valley when chat in the future are uh, yo <laughs> bum, 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 bum. I've lost my recent save of Metroid Patience. I recompleted it and screamed while playing Mario Strikes. Oh, oh no! I hate losing or having corrupted saves. I'm glad you recompleted it, though. Back then, I had like. I had a save file with Stardew Valley that was around, I would say it was around 200 hours. I think I was around year two back then, or maybe year one. And it sucked. It sucked to lose that save because it had mods in it. I had a lot of hearts with a lot of villagers and stuff like that. And I had so much money, so much barn, so much coops. I think this is back when Stardew Valley first came out. Yeah. Um, how are you, Sally Belly? Love you. We have to play Yu-Gi-Oh again. We all have to play Yu-Gi-Oh again in the near future. Some t at the end of this week, I mean. <laughs> Wait, Echo slash Reverb, tell Reverbs, Force, VST3, VST3, has he covered? Yo, tell me more about it later. I hadn't done searching. I hadn't done any sort of searching for our... Our... Echo yet. Hi, honey. Love you. How are you? It, 
why is the hand before? Hi. Yes. Um, <laughs> um, so OBS just decided to crash out of the blue and I couldn't really do anything about it. I didn't expect it to just crash out of the blue. Oh, are my stuff even working? Look, like, even my BC page isn't there. I, we totally didn't crash. We totally didn't hack up. Hell, I can't even scroll up in my own uh, stream chat right now. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Can I read? No. What if I close this? Can I read chat now? Yes. Yes. Hi. <laughs> Ah, okay. Give me, give me, let me, let me scroll down and read chat. Hello. There we go. I still can't go, but hi, honey. I saw you say hi. I love you. I hope you're doing well. I hope work is going well for you. Cause this OBS ain't 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 it's not how it came for me. <laughs> okay. Um the the government doesn't want you to know that the ducks at the at the park is free. I have one hundred forty seven thousand ducks now. Yo, can you please spare me ten ducks? I won't take care of them though. I I'll just make them into food. Mm-hmm. Duck meat is very delicious, you know? <laughs> I even have some duck meat recipes, but like, I have no duck meat. Or it's too expensive to get duck meat. Risha Anthem plays? No! No! It's the wrong time for that. Um. <clears throat> Yeah, what Sully Belly said. Okay. Imagine just a hundred thousand ducks outside of your door. Not not they're not here to stare at you. They're here out of spite. They're just staring at you. Outside of your house. Just just doing this on your window. I can't just believe you've done this. <laughs> By the way, the mod section's headings in Tal Reverb's force, the echoey part, not for my musician friend. Okay, okay, thank you. Thank you for that. I will keep that in mind when I do have it installed. Oh, if 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 it's okay though, I wanna ask you for some help if I ever do encounter some bad stuff. Ayo, we back, we back, yes, we back. Hi. Hi. And speaking of Discord, it says you're offline. What? What? <laughs> did did everything did everything just break for me? This is next level scuff. OBS, hiya, hiya. I wanted to try duck booba. Um, Sully belly. 
Can, can care to repeat that again? The the the, the, the duck booba? Duck booba. Can you eat duck booba? I'm not kidding, your Discord down. Okay, wait. Yes, see? This is okay. This is alright. This is 100% alright. You know? For some reason, OBS is eating up 50% of my... CPU, OBS, hello, you've never done this. Oh, okay, okay, let's watch that. Do dogs even have booba? Duck booba equals duck breast meat, not memory, store to muscle meat. Oh, okay, okay, okay. My, <laughs> my, my mind. Uh, my mind went off to think of duck booba, but with the milk, with the cow udders. You know, those, those big looking nippies from cows. Yeah. <laughs> Oh no, I hadn't had OBS give me a memory leak. But did once and I had to restart it. See, we restarted OBS and it's still like this. I have no idea why. Oh, interesting. Okay, give me a sec. Let me delete some stuff. Because these are some of the things that were different compared to last time. There. Nothing change. <laughs> um, Elvao, yes, I, I, I really thought that duck breast was on, a, you know, normal breast with cow udders. I mean, didn't you also think that way? What were you thinking, right? I, I, I I'm not in the wrong here, chat. You know that's what duck breast was supposed to mean. Duck booba. Yes, right, right, Telly Belly, you meant that, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> okay, wait, let me, let's watch that. Why cannot, can I not say letter T right now? Uh, no, <laughs> don't bonk me. <laughs> Holy shit, my OBS is so laggy right now. Um, give me a sec. I, I, I have a hard time. Even just scrolling up. Copy this. So forgive me if I miss something, but yeah. Sexy mummy duck duck cartoons, yo, yo. I mean, I mean. Chat. 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 Daisy Duck. Daisy Duck, though. Daisy Duck from Disney, though. I'm just saying. Smash. <laughs> Give me a sec, because Sergio was prepared. Sergio was prepared um, in the background, so give me a sec. Oh my god. So, you know, if we ever want some kind of sexy ass cartoon character you know daisy duck's always been there chat always has been <laughs> yes i forgot the name of donald duck's wife 
Okay, I hear. What is this? I swear. Oh, it's a man at R3 Forge. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, they're making Asinus reappear. That's awesome. Hum. No bugs! Wait, why is it... Why is this playing at... <laughs> Do we... Is my internet also sh shit right now? There we go. See? There. 144p playing, yo. Wait, chat. Let's go back to when YouTube was new. Um, hi. Welcome to the current episode of Man at Arms Reforged. 2012, episode 1. <laughs> 144p. <laughs> Holy shit, it looks so bad. <laughs> let, me, let, let me go to 720p now. <laughs> Uh, um, I'm pretty sure YT was on 240p instead of 4 ages, <laughs> instead of 4 pixels. Wait, no, I, I, I remember YT having a 144 thing, right? Right? And yes, Alibel, don't worry. I'll protect you from bombs. I'll take all of it. We we stand Daisy Duck over here. We <laughs> we absolutely love Daisy Duck. Have you not seen that fluffy uh, white ass or something? That fluffy tail. That. Oh, OBS isn't lagging now. Nice. Sixty-four bits, thirty-two bits, sixteen bits, eight bits, four bit, two bit, one bit, half bit, quarter bit, one eighth bit. Is that a thing? No, that Melly can beat me in Yu-Gi-Oh. Though, yo, I can beat you. I almost did. One time, just one time, just one time, Crash, just one time. Also gonna be a bit of a slasher as well. They're gonna add a really nice thick bevel to the edge. Should yeah, be gotta make it extra thick. To pierce. Out the blade is forged to our desired shape. Ilya is now gonna start hand. Bevel. Everything, every hole, every body. And use a Japanese forging hammer to start this process. Make this rapier be the rapier that opens up holes, even if there are no holes. Heavy metal place. Welcome to the hydraulic press channel. Today we're going to crush some bombs. <laughs> oh no! Show you guys something real quick. This is an anime rapier blade, and this is a historical rapier blade. I think you guys can tell the difference. This one is one. I am sorry, I cannot. Real light, mostly a thrusting blade. This one. Still gonna be a thrusting blade, but it's a lot more exaggerated, much like most blades you find in anime. I'm gonna start. Ah, uh, yo! Did he just take a shot at anime? Yo, <laughs> no, he didn't. No, he didn't. Oh, Melly, I also found the pickle message in Elden Ring. Yo, where? It's under concept. <laughs> why is a, why are pickles just under concepts? I see pickles are not a thing anymore. It, and yeah, it's only about Imagine if like heavy metal place. Welcome to the blacksmithing channel. Today, we craft a hard metal rod rod that will pierce anything and everything. <laughs> 
sketch out the rough shape before I go to the AutoCAD and draw it up and cut it out. Speaking of which, if any of you had a chance to like have a enemy weapon, what would you have? Because now that I think about it, I I hate to say it, but I would love to have either one of Kirito's swords or um who was that sun dude in seven deadly sins i would love to have his axe because that would be so awesome i don't know why but i love blacksmithing same i didn't even know i liked it until crash so showed it to me I have a katana like a weeb. I currently have a wait, wait, yo, I want to see your katana. And yeah, for me, I have. <sighs> Chat, I'm sorry. I had a Star Wars lightsaber, even though I'm not a big fan. I was just like, this seems cool. I would get Sora's Keyblade? Yo, that's so awesome. You mean his original Keyblade boss? Me, I would love some firearm related guns, handle and sound like bullet firearms, yet energy printed slash fusion. Oh. Wait, there were anime characters with that. If I remember right. Though there are not a lot of them. Mista from JoJo. Holy, <laughs> that's all. Uh, uh, that's pretty much the, the first thing that came into my mind. Mista with his six bullets. I'd want Masamune Sephiroth sword, yo. If we're speaking of swords, I actually want to get Guts' sword and yeah, I think I would be fine with Guts' sword because it looks cool and big and chunky. Oh, one sword that I would want is someone from Demon Slayer. Probably Rengoku's sword, because the hilt is so awesome. Along with the scabbard. I have a replica master sword as well. Wait, what's a master sword, Sully Belly? I wanna see that. Yeah, just I I forgot to say since we are at the start, just feel free to uh, redeem anything. Any media. The original Keyblade is my absolute fave. I'm planning to complete all KH games with only the Kingdom Key too. Yo, that is, that would be rad, but also hard. Good luck, boss. If we're speaking of Keyblades, I like that water-based Keyblade from Aqua, I think. Yeah, I like Aqua's uh, Keyblade, along with Ventus's. I don't know. Their Keyblade designs were just so... Unique that I like them. They were they were slick. Now that our guard is formed and welded, that would be heavy as hell. I mean, and remove all the scale it's an anime sword, Jelly Belly. You you suddenly be able to lift a metal great sword like it was nothing. <laughs> You would suddenly be able to lift it to the power of your not not your muscles, of course. To the power of friendship, I will lift this up, and and then I have some swordsmanship that was passed down to me by my ancestors. 
and all of my inner swordsman genes are now activating once I held up the sword. Or maybe you could go on with a cliche anime thing where, oh no. Why do I feel so different once I've t touched this sword? It's like, it's one of me. It's like an extension of my arm. <laughs> Wait, imagine an anime style energy rifle with a ballistic shield. Yo, I don't think I've seen that yet. That would be so awesome though. Gun wise, I don't I don't really know a lot of characters, honestly. I know one from GTO, but that's a P60. Master Sword's the signature sword of Link, the Legend of Zelda. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I didn't know because I hadn't played a lot of Zelda yet. Metal work is gorgeous, about as elegant as anything machinery related. Yeah, it's honestly. It's honestly comfy to just watch people make swords or stuff. Working directly on the Bader Sanders, Matt sculpts the land jet to form. You know, I want these guys to be so successful in the future that they would make swords with a real gemstone. One day. When they get enough funding. This sword was a lot of fun to make. We got to do a lot of different processes. Like imagine, imagine them making the the um Gilgamesh's lands, Gilgamesh's Aya. Yo, that would be so fucking awesome. Holy shit, this looks epic. Holy shit, this looks epic. Why are you using it to cast? What is it supposed to? Oh, to show, to show the sharpness. I'm guessing. Oh, that is so awesome. Here to subscribe or click here to watch more episodes. Thanks for watching Man at Arms Reforged. We need to know what you want the guys to build, so tell us in the comments below. What Can you please you build Gilgamesh's Aya? Wait a minute, I wanna, I wanna lease her. No, they had not done it yet, but they have done Excalibur. I will cry. Please do, <laughs> please do Aya. What is this? Um, they're really cool, especially how Ben backhanded. I tried backhand once. I'm not sure if I did it right, but it was super dang. Wait, what's a backhand? Do you also blacksmith? Boss? Does appear a bit of both in the Iron Man movies too? Mm -hmm. Didn't Squall have a gun sword? Oh yeah, I forgot Squall existed. And yes, I also forgot the pistol sword from Black Flag. It's been so long that I forgot they all existed. I patterned out on paper, just freehand sketched Elucidator's blade and transferred that with Carbide Scribe to 1075 Spring Steel. Give me a sec though, I'll just get some snacks. I'll be back, one minute.
belt grinder, ground the profiles to the right proportions. Took a soapstone marker and marked where the internal cutout would be and uh, again had Brian take that to the plasma cutter and cut out that inner piercing on it. There's another piece that overlays on the hilt section that will be cut out of 3 eighths of an inch thick uh, mild steel, low carbon steel. extend the tang that'll go through the handle, so I took a piece of three-quarter inch pot-rolled steel, round bar stock, and forged it out so it was about an inch wide by about six or seven inches long. That'll be TIG welded onto the 1075 steel blade. The end of the tang will be threaded to a 3816, just a standard thread size that I use. I have Brian on the lathe turning down a piece of pre-machining steel. It's a 12L14 steel. The L designates that it's a leaded alloy. It's a lower carbon steel, so it, uh, it works pretty easily. We will turn a pommel about three inches long, one inch in diameter to match the Delrin grip, which is about nine inches long. Alicia was cutting out some 50 thousandths thick nickel silver sheath using a jeweler's piercing saw. We will be riveting that onto the blade after we heat treat the temper. I heat treated elucidator, quenched it in oil that uh, brought the sword blade to a very hard, brittle condition. And we put it into the electric heat treating oven at about 600 degrees and left it in there for six hours which allowed the blade to relax a little bit, which is called tempering. Hi, I am back. Okay, there we go. There we go. Hi, everyone. I just got myself a cheese bun that is very, very fluffy. There are many styles in gun blades, but a heavy sword and revolver magazine styles, a classic. Oh, oh yeah. That's Squalls, right? You mean Squalls blade? That's the only gun blade I can, I can think of, honestly, now that I'm reminded of it. Probably the best thing I want is a medieval, medieval bonk hammer. I, yeah, actually I would want a medieval bonk hammer too. Something very large, probably around, hopefully four feet tall or three feet. Welcome back, welcome back. Hi, I just wanted to see you can hear my my fort. In Japan for display in a museum. I feel very honored that the fans in the US So basically this cheese bun has a cream filling too. Ah That is very very delicious. Halberds have different variations. Oh Oh wait, no, I thought there was only one type of halberd, but holy shit, this is awesome! This looks cool! Oh, that was cool. That was sexy. Thanks for watching Man at Arms. Be sure to subscribe. Tell me in the comments what weapon you'd like to see. That next. was good stuff. Mm hmm. Just like this cheese bun. If you're into Fire Emblem, they're most commonly seen as accessories to powerful weapons of skill. Oh, I'm actually really into Fire Emblem. I didn't know halberds were like that, though. Because I...
when I played Fire Emblem, I was always just like, I'm gonna just put this here and put this here. Um, brain off, brain turned off. <laughs> and then I would just equip, um, brave swords or critical swords, stuff like that, you know? Let go means by me, shake. And when a man fell some kind of river, but your mom bow to a new rescue helicopter to save him. I don't need sleep. I need finance. The ask kind. Hi, silly belly. Love you. Love y'all. Let go characters when they fall. Fetch my leg from over there. When you lose your Lego hat. Oh, now that I think about it, I had not it's played Lego. a lot of Lego your yet. Parents got you a present. Mm -hmm. It's Lego. It's Lego Bionicle. I like Fortnite more than Lego Star Wars. What you have said has made God very unhappy. In the Lego universe, Voldemort is the only one with a nose. We should do a Fire Emblem collab of some kind? Yeah, one day we totally should. Start the rescue helicopter. Hey, I have to be honest, I don't know any Fire Emblem be, um, below Fire Emblem Awakening. emergency collection. From you know, the one from 3DS? In Soviet Russia, or Lego was it 3DS or... I think it was 3DS, yeah. Nine year old me thinking about my Lego store alive and how everything's gonna play out. When you stop receiving Lego on your 100th birthday. I don't play that garbage. Lego games suck. You are not a clown. You are the entire circus. This is slowly getting me hyped for the next season of Doctor Stone. Wait, Doctor Stone is going to get a next season, yo? Are they safe? Are they all right? Something happens. People in Lego commercials. Hey. Everyone getting diamonds in Minecraft. Right now, I'm just excited for like. I'm not even thinking about any season twos right now. I'm just excited to see how Attack on Titan ends. And how when someone says they want to know the reason. how realist hero ends this season. Hopefully they so ended like a me. very, very memorable way. Me. I like you. Crush. Speaking I like of you. anime though. God. Me. My alarm clock. We were watching Fire Force the other day. And I have the to be honest, I like I like the story, the, the characters, but my god can they please let Tamaki and Maki, you know, the girls? actually get a spotlight instead of being fan service that, that's my only gripe <laughs> that, that's the only thing i don't like not really me today is your birthday your parents got you a present it's lego because i i can see to for those of you who know fire force to make you like that cat girl with fire she has a lot of potential that is not being used. The guy building in Lego commercial. Oh, okay, Sally Belly. Uh, I did a quick search on FT multiplayer and ping you on some interesting results in the server. Okay, okay. I probably can't check it right now because of my internet and stuff. Oh, not internet. My PC having a hard time in OBS. It's eating so much CPU. It's around 50%. 51 now. Oh, I've seen Lego Ninjago. My man has fallen to the river. He's fallen to the river? But you build it in 15. Builder. 50 to Lego City commercials. But they all yell hey at the same time. It's beautiful. I've looked at this for 5 hours now. When people are talking about all of the different jokers, but they are leaving out one. Woman arrested no. for playing Oh, I saw that Lego Joker. Video. Don't forget to subscribe for more meme videos like this. And holy shit. Batman just told that version of Joker. That there was no relationship. Between both of us, there was nothing special between us. And bro, that hurt on an emotional level. 
like I may not be Joker, but that shit hurt. That shit touched my heart. Wait, I have to show that to all of you. Wait, give me a sec, Matthew Belly. Look at this. Yes, I don't know the exact name. See, 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 chat, this is it. This is it. This is it. Oh, this is it, chat. This is it. Well, let me. He's special. So when people ask you who's your number one bad guy, you say. Okay, okay. There. Let's just erase everything. Okay, chat. You want to hear so this? Fighting, this hurts. Fighting other people if you want to do that. But what we have is special. So when people ask you who's your number one bad guy, you say. Superman. Ooh. Seriously saying that there is nothing, nothing special about our relationship. Whoa. Let me tell you something, Jay Bird. Batman doesn't do ships. What? As in relationships. There is no us. Batman and Joker are not a thing. I don't need you. I don't See, need anyone. This shit hurt. You mean nothing to me. Nothing to me. <laughs> oh, that shit hurt. No that shit hurt. See? You mean nothing to me. <laughs> oh, that hurts. I know. I told you it hurts. It hurts a lot. It hurts a lot. I I also love how they did that that a transition of just bat Batman leaving like he he is the villain, not or like Batman is leaving his lover or something. <laughs> Okay, let me let me go here. That was so rude to the man that made his career. <laughs> that is true. That is true. Ow! 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 My ears. Dum 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 dum. Ooh, that hurts, yeah. Batman was a true villain. What a twist. Rip Joker's feeling. This is going to be last video of this year. There hasn't been neutralist press. Yeah, rest in peace, Joker. So we have to make our own rewind. Back when I first saw that clip, I didn't expect Batman to say that. First, in March, we did. I thought he was actually going to say Joker was his worst super villain of all time. Not Superman. This feels so good. This feels so good. This feels so good. And since that was so good, we had to do even better one with our slicer five move. I remember there's a whoa. I rem I remember there is a one shot doujin manga where Batman was transformed into a little baby, and Joker just commits to taking care of him. What? That is so weird. <laughs> Like, if we're speaking of doujins or like, you know, one-shots that aren't canon, 
I had seen Batman become evil. Like he decided to kill people. And then I think he also became somewhat like the Joker or something. And he just kept on laughing and stuff along with the Joker. And then also in March, we combine it Detroit Press with our oh, press is that cheese? Red Hot Steel, and it was oh wait, it's steel. <laughs> I thought it was cheese. I thought it was cheese. I thought it was mozzarella cheese. Whoa, the forbidden cheese. Wait, wait, I just noticed something. Chat, look at it. Look at it before it burnt, okay? Look at it. It wasn't, you know, this, this wasn't curved or something. Look at it at the end. It just curved. Look at it. Yeah, like the hydraulic press melted. It then broke. We launched probably the most like a tool of the year. Oh, oh like this it. feels and good. One video with Epilogue or non Newtonian fluids. What the hell? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> How's that camera safe from the fire? I'm guessing it's like, um, it's very far away. And they just zoomed in because if you have some really good lens for your camera then you can zoom in without losing a, uh, a lot of pixels or you know a lot of quality yeah like if they have these very slow motion things then they have one of those top tier cameras that are probably used for movies those two thousand dollar cameras. We put some candles inside of the tool and it turned out really nice. Whoa! That flew faster than hundred people throwing money bills. Yeah, I know the Batman that laughs. Yeah, I love that guy too. I sort of hate it too because it was so creepy. To see Batman laughing like Joker. The forbidden cheese. The cheese that will make, mel literally melt your insides. <laughs> Doof and smirch? Is... Doof and smirch? Is this you? You finally made us machinator 5 million? Yo, Melly Chan, Gamu, Connie, Connie, hi, it's been a while, love you. How are you, Gamu, Connie, Connie, guys, that's you. Have a good day, okay, you have a good day too, and Gamu, 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 love you. I love your new model, I absolutely love your new model, Gamu. You look so good. Um, my favorite Batman, the Batman who laughs. Yeah, I love the Batman who laughs. Oh, okay, that's <laughs> that shocked me. I didn't expect it to blow up. Testing different car checks with Hutai Press, also really popular. Smash them all, Smashinator. Smashinator 5000. You know, I have to change the color of my chat, but that's okay. Next time. Oh. Oi. <laughs> <laughs> and then after that, more testing. We did a couple of videos where we tested different wrenches and stuff like that. Really interesting and fun video to do. When you're turned off, chat. <laughs> no, wait, no, <laughs> no, no, no. And then, on end of the year in December, 
This is actually two videos, but we had to hit. Oh, why does this feel so good? We crafted some steel pipes. Why does this feel so good? Before, but we got this great idea to weld them at their place so we can craft even long cubes. It, it's like butter. Also going to affect how the pipe is going to fold because they are weak points on otherwise like completely solid cubes. So really the slow one that's often seen in extremely yeah. high FPS camps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be uh, the two thousand dollar cameras because those could go for a lot of FPS. <laughs> and uh, yeah, they normally just kill it down. Because for movies, they normally use either 24 or 30 FPS. The 60 FPS is too realistic for movies. That's why you you, re you rarely see any sort of movie in 60 FPS. But there is GoPro and light inside. So we can see inside while it's being crushed. You do see some short movies at 60 FPS though. Long movies, not so much. What the fuck is happening? Chat, it's. <laughs> I'm sorry. Chat, you ever thought you. Wait. What the hell was that? Okay. Chat, chat. You ever want to to be to go down bad on an Android chat? This is what you see. See this? This is their metal 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 sussy. Metal Lucy. <laughs> this is what you see, chat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, want to make videos. drops right now. And those were 10 best videos that we can like sort and down. Metal Wufugas? Metal Wususi? Other like really good videos, for example, Forging this knife out from Rents with the press. And here's some no. stuff that we have kept from previous videos. Comment down if you recognize all of these. And if you want to see the like all the best videos, in our mind of this year, there is link in description and on end screen. Holy! Of, like, playlist oh, wow, that went. That red just went swinging. Yeah, yeah, so I know. Yeah, it feels so good to watch this. Some press videos, for example, in New Year's party. Just click <laughs> from there and enjoy. And Metal Lucy. Hey, design. at least now, if I'm you want like, to uh, really to have that sexy time with. Down, uh, an android you know what it looks like you right right chat i would take that on any if if yeah, if other people if if humans have something like a i have great plans like a g spot then androids would have that they would have that <laughs> Turn off, turn, turn off, turn on switch somewhere in there, me Metal Lucy. <laughs> you gotta, f you, you, you just have to find that, <laughs> that turn on switch chat. <laughs> Why are we looting uh, androids? <laughs> uh, okay. Ah, this is Qual's gunblade, isn't it? It is. Oh, 
I had not seen Squall in such a long time. I mean, there is a game for that. Not that I would know. Hello, Sully Belly. There is. I'm not saying I want it, but I would. Uh, I'd love to know it. We're going to be building some favorite weapons. Some weapons that you've never seen before. This is Man at Arms Reforged. After reading through all the comments, the most requested blade by far has been Squall's Gunblade from Final Fantasy VIII. Here we have a 3D rendering. How would they make the, the gun there. itself? Our dimensioning figured out. I'm gonna go ahead and use the one on the bottom and trace our profile and prepare it for CNC cutting on the plasma. We're actually gonna add the hammer in later as a functioning hammer, so I'm gonna just skip right around that. Just like the hammer, I'm gonna leave the trigger out so we can add that as a functioning piece. I am very curious if go. they would be able to make this gun actually shoot. We have John using the CNC plasma table. Cut out the frame and the blade in chromoly steel. I just have felt the <laughs> Don't worry, we're all the gens here. Handshake, handshake, handshake. Plasma beam that pierces a metal. John uses the Bader Sanders to deburr the blade. We have to have a reasonably fine finish so that when the engraving is cut on the We we don't judge here, you know? We don't judge here. You want that metal Lucy? You got that metal Lucy. Basically a winged lion pretty classic symbol from Final Fantasy VIII. It's a little bit different when drawing something that's going to be cut on a mill instead of being cut on the plasma cutter. We really have to get all the undercuts and everything on the inside as well. Using the retrofit bridge port, we engrave the griever on the side. Oh. We cut in the engraving 15,000 deep, 5,000 per pass. All right, we got our gun blade back from engraving. We got the griever on there, which I think turned out really nice. Next step is to lay on our edge bevel and then uh, ready for heat treat. That is awesome. We use the long forge for heat treating the Final Fantasy gun blade. We've already taken a quick hardening over the frame area. The blade's going to be a different hardness. We're going to have to protect the griever engraving. We're going to protect that uh, by melting some soap on it. The soap's going to keep the oxygen off the surface. And we're going to go into the forge again, our heat on the blade side. So the oh, wait, you could do that? You could put it in some soap? An edge, and also to make it considerably stronger. Our target temperature is about 1,550 degrees. We're going to take it out. We're going to quench it into the oil for hardening. So from here, I can hand it off to Matt to polish. Oil tempered... Oh wait, is there a difference between getting tempered with just water? We set an indexer up on the Gorton milling machine to drill the cylinder. I thought they were always we'll tempered with, with water. Center drill, and then we'll come back through for cooling the down and stuff. Run a mill down for our final sizing, and then we'll probably come back and cut in a shoulder for the shells. The cylinder is actually a little bit under three inches. We have four and a half inches here. So we're going to over drill it and then we're going to go back up on the lathe and we're going to cut the piece to shape so that it actually fits in the gun. That'll expose the back side of the drilling for the chambers. What we're going to do now is we're going to cut a shoulder in so that when we make a faux cartridge to go into that, it'll have a shoulder to sit on. It'll be pretty much identical as you do for a, for a real firearm. We lay the indexing. Please, over, please, so please. If you have one job, so please make it a make, make the gun blade actually shoot. I, I hope I hope they make it shoot. John cuts additional sections of the frame for me to add to the gun section. Um, um. I'm just adding some clamps so that I've dump, got dump, smash down. that water, yes. And it'll reinforce the whole piece. And then it'll get blended out to match so that it looks like it's all one piece. For the external welds, I'm using a MIG welder. For the internal welds, I'll use a TIG so we have less cleanup. You know, you know what's the good thing about watching these type of stuff? You don't understand anything they're saying, but you still like it. They're saying MIG welders and stuff like that, and I'm like, oh, what's that? <laughs> you can see now where the weld was, it's essentially become one piece. 
<laughs> uh, and we're all just enjoying how it's now made. The size of the frame. We're going to take the cylinder and cut it down to 2.7575 inches. We're going to do a final filing to get the frame to fit exactly right. But this is going to get us right I don't know. They're going to need a legal license. I, I hope. I hope they're able to put it off. Wheel and the slack belt on two different grits, both 180 and 240 grit, to clean up and polish out the cylinder. To complete the fit and make sure the cylinder will turn, I use a hand file to cut in the corners and shave the edges clean. Yo, that looks so clean. We wanted to make sure that visually this would be the same as it is in the game. Oh, so they're just the hoping for a visual. Okay, okay. Inside of a flask. The flask is then filled with a plaster that we call investment. It has silica in it that allows the high temperature and the air to pass through it when we put it in the vacuum. That would hurt so bad. The revolver just grinding your thumbs. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's true. Now I'm thinking of how ridiculous some of the weapon designs in anime are in the eyes of a blacksmith like holy shit if someone made me craft this i would not do it <laughs> kind of crazy with the kiln at 950 and the bronze at 2100 degrees oh i'm sorry i do not know what fahrenheit is but i think that's hot um an empath inside of me says Senses, that's hot. <laughs> After measuring off a preliminary set, no, I'm not sure though. I'm just sensing it. The hammer so they'll fit the gun blade. Using the Gorton milling machine and a ball end cutter, I relieve the frame for the cylinder pin. All right, we got our squall gun blade almost all done. All we got to do is attach the wood uh, slabs for the handle get this outer piece a little these meat smiths are absolute uh, troopers and gods i know the the trigger and the hammer got to attach that Polish i'm around. genuinely curious like did they come from like a legendary line of blacksmiths or something 400 degrees fahrenheit is 204c oh okay that hot that is very hot that is double a that is double above the the boiling point for water. I thought they were going to shoot. <laughs> Why did that not look so awesome? It looked more it, it looked funny to me. Like everyone was just doing epic slashes and then he was just like Quink <laughs> Okay, that's awesome Click here to subscribe or click here to watch more episodes Thanks for watching Man at Arms Reforged. Oh, they made Cloud's Buster Sword. Now that is chonky. Very chonky. Omega chonky. Okay, give me a sec. That was epic, yeah, it was. I, I, I seriously, I, I, I really hope they were able to make it shoot, but I, I guess there are a lot of things they have to do to make it shoot. So yeah, that's understandable. I just wish, you know, I just wish. I just wish. It's a childhood dream to see a gun blade. Gun blade, for real. And I'm Anni. This is Machinator, five million.
and today we will do Weaver request gunpowder inside of this machine. Gunpowder? You haven't seen this machine. No, gunpowder, not gunpowder. So it's machinator? Yeah, there's about 10,000 joules in machinator when it goes off. And we are going to put some gunpowder here. And then we will see, will it explode or what will happen? Pretty simple. Yeah. And one is, what is on your opinion? What will it explode? Uh, we will see explosion. I'm quite sure also. Yeah, so let's start with quite small amount and then put more if it seems to be safe. And our explosion expert Henry will add the gunpowder. Wait, but isn't uh, gunpowder just... You are putting? A five gram. Powder? Five grams. No, it's a two and a half. And that's nothing. Let's add ticket more. Uh, it's just powder. Grams gunpowder. Yeah, and it's we didn't make like high pile, so it didn't like fly away. But now it gets in between. And then because there's ten thousand joules of energy, I think it's going to get so hot that it will ignite. Oh, okay. Now I get it. I forgot this. There yes. is the weld from my previous yeah, thing. Yeah, so this is the strike hits. Yeah. Hey, I, I initially thought that, hey chat, maybe I could put my finger under you that smashing eater. <laughs> and I, I could dodge it before it goes down and then I saw it instantly go down. I don't think I can do that anymore. <laughs> God, uh, you, you know, like some of my toxic mindset is setting in. I want to put my hand <laughs> under it, my finger, anything, and then try to dodge it before it goes down. Can you take it off? Can you take it off? Some, 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 some way? Oh, I don't have grinder. Okay. Yeah. Because this is actually not yeah. the right way to do the tests. Yeah, I forgot this. Hey, but what we can do, we can add... Just these moments and these points. Yeah, yeah. Powder. Let's put there. Yeah, it can it can be like around these. Yes. Spots. Now now we have the good spike and good hit. Yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> I'll redeem Cloud Sword at the end. Surprisingly, it's only five minutes long. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Here we go. Gunpowder is harmless unless someone throws one of those popper packs at your face. <laughs> no. Like it needs to be extremely hot for gunpowder to ignite, right? Like a normal yeah, candlelight wouldn't be enough. Mass of the season, because our rope is in so bad condition that we cannot shove it in. Yeah, a normal candle so fire wouldn't be enough, to right? It out, and then it will go in, or it will snap here. I don't know, but it's going to be interesting. So we have two questions: Will the gunpowder ignite, and will the trap broke? Yeah. And will I'm sure why. And since this is the last mass, we add a little bit more gunpowder <laughs> and then some cap gun ammunition to get proper ignition. <laughs> Don't try this at home. I, I mean, it's not like... Yeah, yeah, totally. Everyone has a Smashinator 5 million at their home. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I think that was much better. Yeah, let's see the high speed. That was awesome to look Bomb. at. Bomb. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah, this is perfect one. Yeah. Survival insects kicked in, fly to the moon to avoid a smash in 5,000. Did I just miss a kaboom? Yes. That is the big kaboom. See? Just how much pain can this machinator take in? Last one was pretty good. 
Anni was too scared to see. Yeah, I was about half kim- kilometer from there. And Anni got also a message from her mother asking what the hell we are doing here, that the house is shaking. <laughs> I think this was one of the loudest. What the fuck? Yep. Hello, hi, hi, Rich. Welcome back. It's nice to see you again. We're just chilling, watching yeah. videos and, and stuff like before going into Stardew Valley. Video today. Is this the hydraulic dude? Oh no. Um, this is Machinator, dude. Yeah, but that is all for today. For we were watching the hydraulic dude earlier. And uh, <laughs> we saw it destroy so many things. Welcome though. How are you? What have you been up to? So, uh, yes, Arashi? What's up? I'm up. I did some tests. I have voice acting practice with one of my friends. This is a got very nut worthy. Ah, uh, yo. I yo, 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 what happened? <laughs> um, no, I don't think I should ask what happened, but oh my god, I hope it didn't get too nutty in there, you know? Uh, I see he has a second channel. Oh, wait, is he the same person who does, who does the hydraulic press? The normal one? Is he? This beyond the press. Is he? It doesn't seem to be. He has the same voice. Okay, okay, okay. I thought there was like... Actually, you know what? If he has the Smashinator 5 million, yeah, I wouldn't put it past him to not have a hydraulic press. I still have a couple of recordings, but they have to be heard at 100% on a PC with headphones. I shall listen later. <laughs> I'm just joking unless you give it to me. But yeah. Um, we could watch the Cloud Sword right now for one last time. Before we start you and stuff. Speaking of which, I had. Hmm, I need to practice more voice acting soon. Really soon. There are new auditions coming in. Um, yeah, he has a hydraulic chamber. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We saw that. Like, earlier we watched him crush some balls. Some metal and the forbidden cheese wheel. You know, the big round metal thing. I think it was molten steel and it basically destroyed his own hydraulic press. Okay, there. I was one step ahead of Crash. But yeah, I hope your studying went well. Mm-hmm. And right now, we're... We're 100 percent just chilling. As you can see, I'm I've still slightly sleepy. For over 30 years. I've created weapons for over 200... Because I just woke up a few hours ago. Arms. The Buster Sword is absolutely ridiculous. The blade is six feet long. And yes, Arashi, you want me to play it on my subwoofers over here so that the entire house hears it? Hello? <laughs> oh, thank you for the raid, GDW2007. How was your stream? Welcome, Raiders. Where is that? Oh, wait, you were playing WWE 2K22, yo! I had not played WWE in so long! How was it? 
I brought Bill in. We call him William the Elder. How so was the game? Uh, Foundryman Machinist. I've had uh, Bill machine a slot an eighth of an inch wide by uh, over. Because right now we're just watching that, uh, Man at Arms fight. make some uh, swords, uh, stuff like that. We I think they're making Buster sword right now. Made out of one inch thick aluminum, and we've milled a three eighths of an inch slot. Three While chilling before Stargy and stuff. It done well so than I was expecting, but really good. Oh, I, the last WWE I played, I played was around 2016. How is it now? Is it like absolutely great? Is is? Hmm, I'm not sure. Is the Undertaker still there or no? I don't think he is. By the way, I was talking about this video. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. We did watch that the other day. I think so. I think it was Sally Billy who uh, redeemed it. And it was awesome to watch. Earlier, we, we watched, like, the smashes of 2018. No, he is getting inducted to Hall of Fame this year, yo. Though, yo, okay, 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 okay. I'm excited to see Undertaker. If Undertaker appears as DLC, I'll get WWE 2K22. Thank you for the pot. He's the same dude as the Christian video you just showed. Ah, okay, I'll keep that in mind. Because I thought he only had one channel or something. I love that he crushes everything though. Last video was just gunpowder, but I remember one time there was also an exploding pig. Or a big ball of steel, a cylindrical kind of steel. He is DLC. Wait, what? I'm getting WWE 2K22 later. <laughs> <laughs> I hope Steam Stone Cold Steve Austin is there. All I know are the old days, the sword out of my like Shawn Michaels. My back and arm. The thing probably weighed seventy-five. Holy shit, that is heavy! Ridiculous, huge sword blades I've ever made. I'm pretty pleased with how it came out. I don't think I want to do another one, but uh, <laughs> I don't I think I want to do like another one. Same yeah, to HBK. Done. Wait, who is HBK? Holy shit, that is humongous. Are they going to do a slash test with this? They're going to do a slash test! He can't even lift the sword! They need two people to lift it up. Holy shit! Holy shit! It's like they just got one whole metal shield sheet, drilled some holes in it, and then they, they and then just attached it to a handle and then said, "This is all right. This is now a sword. If you swing it enough, this is a sword." Shawn Michaels. Oh, okay. I wasn't. I wasn't. I didn't remember his abbreviations or something. I just remember him as Shawn Michaels, the switching music guy. That guy. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, let me drink. Stop. I have one last for now. Massive explosions ahead. Will it destroy my ears or no? I hope it doesn't destroy my ears. Please. Oh wait, holy shit, boss, this is 20 minutes. I'll watch a few minutes. This right here is 60 pounds of charcoal, and in here, I've got many gallons of liquid oxygen. Callie, is this safe? Yeah, burn it, burn it, burn it, go, go, go! I didn't expect it to be 20 this minutes. Is liquid oxygen. It's something we've been <clears> here <throat> in the studio before, with liquid nitrogen and an oxygen. I want to hear someone, how does a normal person Hold the Buster Sword in comparison to a twink like. This is a 10 by 10. We have a cartridge of the board, which we're going to soak in liquid oxygen. To see what happens. 
We've heard the stories of what happens if you accidentally spill liquid oxygen on Like look, two of them. Two before, it took two of them to hold that sword up, right? Now we will go blow stuff up in just a sec, so hang But <laughs> Cla Twink Cloud uh <laughs> couldn't even was just swinging that thing around like it was nothing. It shouldn't nuke your ears. Okay. For exactly that. And we want to thank them for sponsoring today's video. See, better help will assess your specific needs and then they match you with I am so sorry for better your ad, but, but I I I genuinely TKOR. That's better H E L P and join the 1 million <gasps> And they couldn't even hold it. Yeah, they couldn't hold it up. Our link you'll receive 10% off your first month. Like once the other dude, the second dude released his arm on the buster sword it just went down you just skip past a bunch of stuff in this wait what should i skip in because i don't know the timers carpet soaked in liquid oxygen because this went up so quickly it was like nothing we'd ever seen before and we've always wanted to scale it up we originally came up with this idea after talking with our friend alexander he used liquid oxygen in a laboratory and they were always warned that if it were to spill on carpet it was particularly dangerous because carpet is made from petroleum product and has a very high energy density and then walking across the carpet could also potentially create a static shock and that could light off carpet that's been <laughs> imagine <laughs> if imagine if you're just walking at a random carpet and then suddenly suddenly after you walk through that carpet it just it just sets itself on fire and you're like what <laughs> what the fuck was i so fast that it caught on fire an engineer from purdue university named george gobel did an experiment to see how fast he could light a charcoal barbecue he took 60 pounds of charcoal briquettes and poured three gallons of liquid oxygen over them with a small ember smoldering at the top the result was that about five to ten seconds later he had 20 pounds of nicely burning charcoal george gobel's original experiment was really really cool but unfortunately due to some limitations of the technology of the day the footage of it that exists is pretty low resolution we want cloud to sure literally one has a buster sword at times yeah right he just whoosh 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 he, he's just slashing that thing like he's holding a piece of paper take just a single match and cover it in liquid oxygen let's start with that so uh it's a bit windy out here right now um and we're at, we're concerned about it we were just going to do everything right here which is why we we're pouring charcoal right here but we're thinking we're now going to move to inside the dome where we have better control over the elements and uh, we're gonna be able to pour everything much safer just one match he i i think i remember cloud even does that ridiculous sheathing of his weapon he just sheets right. it on his back That's from all the, with the the no handle no scabbard barely going at all just glued <laughs> just glue glued to his back all right i am curious let's actually just try one because now i want to know <laughs> fire one match Like a sparkler. <laughs> I think it that spread this so much. No, oh. there's debris on the I ground. I debris, but that was one match, and now that stick is on fire. Now everything's on fire. One precaution we are taking to try and make this a little bit safer is in the original experiment, the bucket was on a two by four, and Mr. Goble was pouring it, just holding the two by four. I wanted to be a little farther away from everything, so I have a bucket on a two by four, but then I have this whole device that I'm going to be attaching it to. It can rotate, it can slide, and it will be on a hinge. So from 10 feet away, I should be able to maneuver the bucket to pour it on without being so close that I have to worry about the heat causing problems. Is that gonna catch on fire? Yeah, maybe. Imagine if the whole thing caught on fire, that'd be so awesome. With a spark. You know the funny thing? Box. Liquid oxygen is legitimately an actual combustible here. fuel type in oxygen, yep. yeah. not right. included. Right. Wait, what's oxygen not included? But yeah, I, I've always known liquid oxygen as like a flammable thing because this oxygen has always been like the fuel for fires to keep to keep on going. 
for them to, you know, last longer, become stronger, stuff like that. That's why if you were ever caught on fire, the last thing you want to do is run. What you want to do is to roll on the ground like an idiot. That was a lot of sparks. Not a lot of sparks, but... Well, I think it was sparks that we just couldn't see. Callie's got a plan. I've got a plan. Ready? Ready. Woo! So Whoa. It work, obviously. With the sparkler. Yes. So this just proves that, number one, our carpet worked. There was liquid oxygen. Just we could not get a static spark to make it go. The two poles that Grace and I were holding, we were both getting zapped yeah. pretty good. You were able to see some of the sparks. I could see it. Yeah. And so it's daylight, so. That wasn't, the, that wasn't the problem. The problem is that the sparks we were creating were not enough to light it off. I'm not gonna say that that means you can't light it off with a static spark. I'm just saying our result is that it's not guaranteed any spark will light it. So the match in the liquid oxygen was absolutely fantastic, but we wanna try and make sure that what we're going to be doing with the briquettes is going to be as safe as possible. So what we're gonna test out first is a few different types of accelerants with our charcoal briquettes and see how they burn. So the first thing we're going to test is how briquette burns just by itself. Combustion when he is in Smash It 2 hands out, oh yeah, 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 he does. He once ha he one hands it from time to time though. Is a little bit of heat. But yeah, soldier enhancement are a hell of a thing. Drugs, kids. You need you need to lift the the what do they call that? You need to lift a bust the buster sword. Do it now. Wait, I'm just joking. No, I might get that. Go, go and become a soldier right now, kids. <laughs> I'm saying this and I don't even know the lore about soldier. Imagine if they it had a bad lore. Until the charcoal itself really starts to burn. So gasoline works about the same way that a lighter fluid does, but it reacts a lot more energetically and it's going to burn a lot faster than anything that we've used before. Guys, please don't try this at home. Please don't use gasoline to light your barbecue. You don't want your food tasting like gasoline and it could be really dangerous. The fumes themselves can actually build up and cause an explosion. Wait, really? <laughs> there we go. Much faster. Now, is a briquette started with gasoline going to get started faster or slower than normal lighter fluid that's not the test we're doing today today we're going to see what happens if instead of adding more fuel we add more oxygen in a past experiment we did test what would happen if you used but on his taunt he does to spin it around in one hand oh yeah he spin his, spins it like he's just holding one small stick i saw that and then he waves it left right left right spins it on one hand Oh my god, what's happening here? I'm actually so amused oh that I'm watching gosh. through everything. Look at that beautifully burning charcoal briquette. Wow. And all that beautifully burning debris that was sitting somewhere near the and charcoal briquette. Oh my gosh. Fire. It's still sparking. It was just warm. Like, I could have held that. I just love that it's still sparking. Like, there's still right. so much it's oxygen like, in the ground. Yeah. There you nice. go. All right, it's time to go big or go home. They say spilling liquid oxygen on your clothing is incredibly dangerous, and we want to show you just how dangerous it is using one of our new T-Core designs. They're going to burn the clothes? Whoa. Hang it over the sides. It's going to evaporate very quickly. Whoa. Oh my god. <laughs> Get it while it's hot. Hello. Come covered in liquid oxygen. <laughs> what a that was an awesome ad placement. Um, oxygen not included for twenty-five dollars a game on Steam. Where you experiment around with science while trying to build a successful colony of 3D printed survivors called dupe slash duplicants. And there's no natural oxygen, so you have to find ways to keep that going and also modulate temperatures to proper levels depending on what she, what you want oh so is it like a simulation game or something arashi with a little bit of science here and there simply basically 
seconds and it was insane. Holy shit, I didn't see that. That was big. Holy shit, that is huge. What other type of explosive or incendiary did that most remind you of? It was it most really reminded me of black powder, a thick black powder, okay. very fine black powder in a line. All right, so if you had that type of black powder filling the bottom of a shed like this, how do you think that would go? Well, that is the question because I don't know. All right. Especially being contained. The liquid oxygen seems to be working great. We've got everything set up. Time to recreate George Goebel's mid-90s experiments. I guess I don't have a plan if this thing snaps and falls on the ground. We all run. Oh my god, one whole bucket? One whole bucket. Ready? Holy shit! Holy shit! It's like they're summoning a demon. I loved that. That was fantastic. Oh my gosh, it's so warm. So like just right here, this is- Where are they getting all of this liquid oxygen? I don't like it. So a couple thoughts. The, uh, the story along with the original, and from what it looked like in the video, I believe George Goebel had much less left when he was finished. I believe there's a couple reasons for that. One, his charcoal grill was probably a lot cheaper. Two, his less safe pouring method of being up close let him be more accurate and keep all of the fuel poured onto the charcoal itself. I might have splashed a little bit to the side in my effort to not be super close to it, but I have no regrets because I was feeling the heat of that from the other side of my pouring oh, I device. I felt it from standing farther from Nate and I felt the heat. With the type of charcoal we're using, we, uh, we did not reduce it to 20 pounds of nicely burning charcoal, but we got a lot of heat out of it and frankly, I think we'd be about ready to start throwing some food on it. Seriously, this is amazing. Guys, burning that strip of carpet was absolutely amazing. But now we want to... Here's the finale thing. Burning your own sure merch is a big like on my book. Yeah, they, they burned one of their merch for just a good transition to their ad. I love it. I love it so much. Pour a bunch of liquid oxygen on it. Wait, is it just me or did we spend almost two hours just watching videos? <laughs> Oh, we should play Stardew a bit after this. All right, ready? Let's oh wait, are they going to blow? <laughs> They're just blowing stuff up now. I just want to say, it did not just open the lid, it tore the lid off. The lid is, the ceiling of it just came off entirely. Holy shit, it just opened. It tore through the hinge connections, and yeah, it's burning very, very hot. Holy cow, I have so much more hope for the shed now that I've seen this, because I was really worried that we weren't going to have as big of an effect as we wanted. I'm not worried about that anymore. And in, in, in the half second it took to blow that lid off, look how much of the ceiling still scorched. Like that giant black mark is what it I feel like put the on there in a radiating, second. Like it's still very warm, yeah. So warm. The doghouse was incredible. It was a more exciting reaction. It's funny, I don't know, but I think so you can just make it with to topper coils and bring in different nitrogen here. and that's it. And then just wait with a coil hanging below the water line to drip out. Oh, okay. I love these folks. I love this. I love how they're making this. Explode on you 
we don't want to ever be on the carpet while pouring the liquid oxygen. So we're going to have two methods to distribute it. One is we're going to throw a little Imagine bit of if we could just keep on making everything two, around us explode. That would be so awesome. Of the shed, there's a hole in the ceiling that drops down into a distributing device and I can pull this cord and just dip all that liquid oxygen down in through the hole into the inside bucket. The fun thing about this carpet is that it's called Explosion 2 and the color is called Firework. It's perfect. <laughs> oh no. They're going to keep the camera inside? Are they? Are they crazy? Are we good, Chuck? This is it, baby. Two months of preparation. Everybody good? Oh, and they're closing it. Wait, what about the camera? Wouldn't the camera just explode inside too? All right, we're good. Fire no. Here we go. Three, two, one. The camera. <laughs> the camera. <laughs> Holy shit, the door blew off. Sacrifices must be made. <laughs> no, the two thousand dollar camera chat. It's gone. <laughs> it's gone. That's all I'm thinking about right oh, now. The camera. The oh, camera. No. <laughs> we wanted to test how dangerous liquid oxygen was on carpet. I think we did a pretty good job of that. Guys, don't play with liquid oxygen. <laughs> Thanks so much for having us. If you come up with any cool things you want to see us do, let us know. In the comments below. <laughs> hey guys, if you want to see our secret fuel explosion, make sure to head over to our second channel, Two Core. <laughs> $2,000 camera gun, but have $5,000 revenue and insurance full guarantee stock. Yo, insurance? What are they going to say to... What are they going to say to the manufacturers, the technicians? Like, oh, our camera just blew up out of nowhere. We have created a Patreon page that will let our viewers support us directly. Changes are happening around uh, that's the That's it. We are okay. So for your it was an accident. Yeah, our our, our, our camera just blew up through really some kind of a uh, weird well, magic. Plans, you know? This liquid oxygen video is just the tip of the iceberg for the projects we want to accomplish, and we really could not do that without you all. We thank you so much for the years of support that you've given us, and we really like we totally didn't pour it. it we totally didn't put it in a shed yeah, that was going to explode. Growing. Yeah. If anybody wants to know what my favorite smell of candle would be, it would be the scent of burning matches. What? This, I want it. The smell of books and burning matches, not burning books. Smell of books and burning Stomp it. It's like the same people who say they love gasoline. Or the smell of gasoline. I feel very comfortable. Alright, I think that's gonna do for this. Yes, I'm talking about me. <laughs> I love the smell of gasoline, chat. It smells so good. The camera! The camera is still inside! The camera! Also, we accidentally ignited the shed. Yeah, we totally accidentally ignited it, right? Like, once we closed the shed, it just blew up, you know? Not that we have the cartoon TNT trigger or something. <laughs> I 
Okay. Okay. I think we can go to, um, what do you call that? Stargy? Yeah. Stargy now? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So before that, I love it too, but I had to stop. Yeah, we can watch more um, next time. You know, especially since at the end of this week, we're going to have something like another Yu-Gi-Oh type of stuff since a lot of people seem to have loved it. Love kicking my ass. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, Let's just be right back for five minutes. I just need to get the water because I ran out of water. And yeah, then we'll go start you and stuff like that. Pump, 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 pump. Ow, my bag. Wait. Okay. Got a meme on the streamer. Yeah. No. I. Yeah, that was probably my fault. <laughs> Every single time I try to brag to everyone. I. Yeah. Shit happens. Someone has a monster clear or something like that. And yeah, I just hack up so much. <laughs> okay, chat, remember to hydrate yourself. Remember to get water, get your own food. And we'll be back in like four or five minutes. I'm just gonna get some water. See you in a bit.
didn't know I love the music on a very high note. There we go. Hi. Hi. Um, give me a sec. Hi everyone, welcome back. I hope you remembered to get some water, some food, and stuff like that. Let me. There we go. What? I have no idea what's happening with the game right now. <laughs> what happened to our game capture? <laughs> but hi. Hi, hi, hi. Did you all get any snacks or anything? I'm just fixing this. It was fixed earlier. There we go. Okay, there we go. Hum, hum, hum. There. Raigeki. Yeah, I remember your Raigeki crash. I remember it as clear as day. I hate that because I even had the audacity to tell you your move, crash. I, I think I was going to do a full improv that time and tell you Crash, I put down this card and then this card. This game is already over. But no, I got fucking right get kid. I hate it. <laughs> I hate it. Put this here. Fuck no, no. Um, <clears throat> Melly, hi Tony, welcome. How are you? Uh, I tried fate today. It screwed me over. Wait, what fate did you try? Did you buy? Did you try fate stay night? Yo. Oh, give me a sec. Let's put this here. Oh no. Let's put this here, this here, this here. But yeah, what have you been up to, Tony? Okay, let's put... Yeah, actually, most of this are in here. Now that I think about it, even this. I feel like I should be putting in more stuff though. Also, look at this. I installed a few more mods and... And I'm... And it looks so... Organized. So very, very, very organized. I'll... Um, Tell me how hoping for a double negative ding sing. Oh, wait, look at this. It looks so good. 
Ah, uh, I can't fucking move the. Uh, tell me how hoping for a double negative jinxing in reverse psychology lead to a negative? Wait, what is that about? I'm sorry, I do not know what you're talking about. I fade like Destiny? Oh, okay, sorry. I, I do not play Destiny. So I did not immediately get the reference. Get, get out. I just played Modern Warfare with uh, my streamer friend. Oh, you mean the new one? How did it go? How's the new Modern Warfare? I've been hearing stuff about it here and there. Like, it has a battle royale now, right? Thump, 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 thump. Bopping to Rashi. Ah, uh, bump, bump, bump. Hi, chicken! Hi! Now, where is my cow? Yeah, you love that, don't you? You love that. Okay, let's make a chest. Because I have the automator now. The automate mod. I, I don't know who recommended me the automate mod, but here it is. See? Now it's working. That chicken looks fluffy, right? Kiara is very fluffy. I love her. I love her so much. There. Now we can chill and, like, get the stuff that we really need. One of these days, though, we have to get a something that helps us milk cows. Wait, no, I mean the term like future events, no games. Oh, okay, okay, sorry. <laughs> I just keep on getting more confused earlier, boss. Thank you, though, for clarifying. You know, if the chicken looks fluffy, rashy, you know what we do? We eat them. We should eat them. Eat the chicken. Make them into fried chicken. Yes? Do you agree? Do you, <laughs> Do you agree? Um, well, it's a 2019 Modern Warfare, but yeah, it was laggy here and there, but I got some decent kills because the lag keeps on stopping me. They don't want you to be too strong, you know? You gotta be nerfed somehow, my friend. <laughs> Seriously though, how do you all become so good at FPS games? Like, is there an application that you go to just to train your shooting skills? Because I, if I remember right, even Arashi over here is very good at FPS games. Everyone here is good at FPS games. Let's put this in here. Dum, dum, dum. Okay, uh, let's get some stuff to eat. Oh wait, we have to water. I forgot we have to water some stuff. Oh. Oh. Hops, yo. Sorry, I, I, I'll just get my watering stuff. There we go. One, two. Um. <clears throat> Um, yeah, there- Wait, wait, what, Arashi? What, what app do you use then? If you are very good at stuff like that. Because I don't know, I don't know. I want to become better at FPS. But like, I don't know how to become better, if you get me. I uh, know, I just have decent- 
fast reactions because the more you play, the better you are. See, I, I've been playing for okay. I've been playing Apex for I guess. Okay, it might not be as much as you, but I've played Apex for around. I think. Ah, uh, give me this. Um, it's two. Uh, no, not two months. For a year. And. I can't confidently say I am better at it, I guess? Like... I still have a hard time fighting people up front. If you get me. Like, that's why I stick to Sniper, because sometimes people aren't really moving that much, and it's, like, easier on my brain. I wouldn't say have slow reactions, though. Because I play stuff like <laughs> Dark Souls and Cuphead and 2 and stuff like that. My solution when I get into them, aim... Aimbot one day, I'll do it and get banned in an amazing glory. Don't be like those trash who uses aimbot. Hello? You know, it's better to be bad than to cheat, you know? It's better to be bad. Dumb. Dumb. Da, da, da. Uh, I play a lot of Escape from Tarkov and Planet Side too. Oh, also wait, is it just me or is this thing eating up my stuff without actually putting out anything? Look at it. I lost my copper ore. Okay, let's put all of this on that. It. And then let's, I guess, um, explore for a bit. And fish, I guess. I play a lot of Escape from Tarkov and Planetside too, sometimes post-scriptum. Wait, what's post-scriptum? I've never been to the forest, it's muddy and I can get a blister on my foot. Come on, you're in the countryside! Wait! I forgot, we have a cave patrol! And this is the final day! Yeah, we can't, we can't finish that today. I forgot about it. It's too hard. But yeah, what's postscriptum? And uh, wait, do you also use anything that trains your FPS skills? A, a ration? A flufum? I keep on forgetting to use flufum. Oh, lost bug. So by 9 or by 10, we can probably... We can probably go to the woods to cut some hardwood. Dum, 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 dum. And yeah. For the past, I think I've played a little bit of um, Rainbow Six Siege still. And I think the only part where I got better is me using sniping weapon. I've never gotten better at like face-to-face -face fighting. You get me? Mm -hmm. 
some people are just so good at that. They just aim at your head while they're moving and shooting at you and stuff like that. And I can't handle those. Also, I think I'm losing my energy. Oh. No more sardines. No more sardines, please. I do not want any sardines anymore. Please, no more sardines. Oh yeah, I added a mod here that lets us see. Oh shit. That should supposedly let us see other people's wants and needs, but it's not working. See, it's not working. Oh, because I need to, like, aim it at them. Aim my cursor at them. Tum, 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 tum. Hi, ma'am. Um, I just entered your house at 8 p.m. Can we please talk? Can we please talk? No? No? Okay. Okay, I just wanted to talk, ma'am. I just wanted to talk. Maybe get some of your grapes, too, you know? Just a little bit of your grapes. Dump, 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 dump. You know, it's either we save for a stable or we upgrade our house so we can make better food. Okay. We can now fish again. Please, give fish. Give good fish. Well, I guess it's something. <laughs> it's something. I will now not fish there. I'll try to get closer to the hardwood area and then fish. I just noticed, but I really love... Wow, I don't love this. But I really love what they did with fall. I don't know if this is new, but like... Seeing the petals fall here and there... Actually makes it a bit more... What's the word? Is it immersive? No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's probably immersive. Ambient. No, it, it becomes more ambient. Okay, legendary fish. Is this a legendary fish? It's not, but we got a midnight carp. Which if I remember, we needed one. Oh wait, no, we have to start uh, cutting down the hardwood now. Good 
Because this hardwood could be used to make us a stable or something. Okay, then we can go home or something. Bum, bum, bum. Midnight carp, midnight carp. I know we need this midnight carp. Somewhere. Bream, walleye, eel. We don't? Please, I need to make it home. Let me make it home. Yeah, this is bugged. This furnace is bugged. Level seven now, nice. Tree fertilizer. Yeah, we didn't get get a lot of mon money for this one, but it's okay. Pum 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 pum. Ah, oh, blackberry season. Please let it be uh, good luck today. It's a beautiful sunny day tomorrow. Pum, 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 pum. A blackberry basket. Where can we find this? even find this thing I don't exactly remember where to get it I think it was somewhere near the bus station yes if I remember right Oh yeah, I have to get flowers for my bee house. I forgot about that. Waters the bees. <laughs> I made a mistake, okay? I made a mistake. And, and maybe they would grow up to become queen bees, okay? Maybe they would become queen bees and they would reproduce and stuff like that, you know? Maybe ne they need water. Maybe they're thirsty. 
Something like that. Dum 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 dum. I'll give them water. Uh, no, not water. I will give them some flowers real soon. After watering every single one of these things. One, two. There we go. I think we can put the bok choice here, right? Okay, let's make some oak resins. Oh no, some kegs. One. How many kegs can we make? Okay, let's make three of them. Noise. Bum, 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 bum. Let's put in some watermelons. There we go. Now we're gonna get rich. Sometime this month. <laughs> Not exactly this month. Sometime. When they grow and become big wine. Okay, now where the hell am I is my chicken? Chicken. Chicken. I don't think my chicken came out. My chicken is still here. But we got five mail though, yo. Okay, how about the cow? Where is my cow? The cow is missing. Oh wait, no. You you've just blended in. We should go down and like try to try to sell this mayo to Marnie. Are you looking for Aunt Marnie? Hell yeah, kiddo. No, no, she's exercising at this time. I'm sorry, lady. But I'm scavenging throughout every single piece of your trash right now. Can you please give me bread? Bread. 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 Dum dum. Dum dum dum. Dum 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 dum. Um. So 100 pieces of bait. We need 100 pieces of bait. Okay, let's try this. I don't know where we're going to get all that bait though. Dum 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 dum. Dum da 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 dum. Dum 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 Maybe we could water we could get more melons or something. No. More pumpkins. And then 
plant a little bit more cranberries and stuff like that. Oh! What are you? What are you? What kind of fish are you? Why are you not moving that much? You not moving is confusing me. Oh, salmon. What? Nice. Okay, it's moving really fast. It's going to drop. It's going to drop. It's going to drop really hard. Okay, okay, okay. Stop! Stop moving! Stop! Stop! No! That fish was unreal. It moved too fast, even though I had like the best rod in the game. And... You... You... What? Yeah, this fluffing fish is very, very strong. I cannot catch this fish. I think I might need to fully equip my my fucking rod for this. Okay, no, he's gonna go up anytime now. We almost died. We almost died. We almost died. We almost died. You, you, you fucking fish. I, if, I swear, if this is not a legendary fish, I am going to cry. Focus, focus, focus. We got the treasure chest. Why won't... You let me win, fish. Okay, just a little bit more. We're almost there. We're almost there. We are you fucking... I got you, fish. I got you. We're almost there. If this is not a legendary fish, I swear. Oh, finally. Oh, it's a puppy fish! Yo! Okay, I'll take this puppy fish. I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay, I did. So if there is a puppy fish, this means that there is going to be a kitty fish. Yes, a cat fish. Or rather, a kitty fish. Because there is a cat fish. Get here. Come here. Yeah, yo, butterfish plus... Puppy fish? That pup fish gave one hell of a fight, right? Like, I have a high level in fishing and the best rod, and I'm still having a hard time. Okay, why is this fish? This fish didn't even fight. It's not even fighting, it just gave up. <laughs> it just stayed at the very bottom, like, yeah, bro, I I'm too done for this. <laughs> it's just a minnow i i hey hey don't judge a fish by its size what if it sells for like 300 gold you know that's the fish that we want that we want to see i got you fish you're the puppy fish aren't you or the butter fish it's not Minnow fish are tiny, around the size of an anchovy. Yeah, but hey, anchovies actually fight a bit. That minnow didn't even try. It just stayed at the very bottom like, yeah, this is it. This is my end. Okay, before we get exhausted, let's eat some hops. 
So if I come here early into the day, we can get some really good fish. They are just hard to fight. Wait, no, anchovies are a bit bigger. Yeah, anchovies are, are a bit bigger. This is a minnow. This is a minnow, I am telling you right now. I'm going to drink, because I know that won't move. I was right! <laughs> It did just give up. I think we're out of good fishes. I think they only last until 3 p.m. Because right now we're 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 fishing at like the rare fishing spot, and we're only getting bad fish. Wait, no, anchovies are a bit bigger? Yeah, anchovies are a bit bigger. Why are there so many minnows here? What is up with this place? Okay, we can throw this away. For sure. Today was a good day. We got, we got a puppy fish. We're going to sell this puppy. Yes, you heard me right. We're going to sell this puppy. And maybe we might get something good. Oh, we have a lot of new books. I've been here for a year now, started to make friends with the local townspeople. It sure feels great, and they're sending me gifts and secret family recipes in the mail, too. That's really helpful. Oh, yeah, we know about scarecrows, we know about this. The secret of the star drop. We've discovered traces of genetic material meteors that closely resemble a star drop, but it is not a proven match. Oh! Diamonds seem to only form at mine level 50 or greater. At level 50, approximately 1 in 500 stones will be diamond rich. After level 50, the frequency. Oh, okay, so it's 50 and up if we're looking for a diamond. If wheat is placed in the keg, it will produce beer. Beer will take a while to brew, but it is quite profitable. Ah, oh, this will be our way to becoming rich. We will be making wine, beer, and pale ale. After we go home and put everything down though. Hi. Shit, there are too many people for me to hope to get some stuff from the trash can. Oh, dum, da, da. Melly, why is the rum ga gone? What rum? Oh, wait, no! <laughs> Shh. 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 Is that, is that a Jack Sparrow reference? Ah, uh, yo. Fellow Jack Sparrow fan. Yeah, let's throw this here. Throw this here. Copper bar, iron bar. And then one of this. We are freaking ancient. Yeah, imagine if someone, someone just tell Imagine if we meet a generation that tells us what is what is a what is Pirates of the Caribbean? I don't know about that. I don't think I've heard about that movie before. 
<laughs> we would feel so, so old. Oh, I think this is Linus's. Nice. Okay, what were we going to do? Buy seeds. I think it can handle like 18, 27, 36 seeds. Pump, 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 pump. Hi. I would like some of your seeds. Thank you. Thank you. And then I think we should get some fairy seeds. And then some eggplant. And then some yam. Because why not, right? Now we don't have money. Nice. Ah. Oh, speaking of movies, though, have um, have any of you watched the the new Matrix movie? <clears throat> the one with John Wick in it? Was it good? Was it awesome compared to the old Matrix? Because I hadn't seen the new one yet. Yams are pretty soft, delicious, and, and delicious when steamed. Oh, are yams like sweet potato or something? Or are they like different, different kinds of thing, things? Sorry, I can't speak well right now. <laughs> but you got me. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. I thought that was an enemy. I seriously thought that was going to be an enemy. There is no sense of order in where I am planting stuff. I am just putting random stuff everywhere. I feel so bad. But at the same time, I feel so good too. <laughs> when I'm doing this. Um, they're basically similar to sweet potatoes, but better. Oh... What dishes are these yams used for then? Because I've not heard of a yam being used for dishes yet. I'm genuinely curious. Like, can you make fries out of a yam too? Something like that? Oh my god, our entire pathway is blocked. We need to give this back to Linus. Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Fine. I'll turn off your campfire. Because you won't wake up. You deserve that. 
Oh, we need bug meat. Shit. We need to kill a lot of bugs. Well, we need copper anyway. Anyway, so we could probably go and go to the mines two days from now. Oh, the day after tomorrow. There we go. Now we can rest. Uh, I've seen. Uh, I don't know if you can make fries from yams. I've seen people do fries from potatoes of various sides. I've also sweet potatoes. Yeah, I've actually, I've actually tasted sweet potato fries, and they're like very good. Um, I've seen. Uh, reset potatoes are one of the more plentiful kinds of normal potatoes because because they grow in mere days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I'm curious because if yams are like are like potato then they could probably be as versatile as gas do you have any do you have a preferred way of cooking your yams because i'm trying to look i remember yams being able to be made as some sort of sweets like i think candied yam yams or a thing. Something like candied sweet potato. And there's also yam cake. And... Yeah, that's all I remember. Wait, yams. Yam. What, what color are yams? Wait a minute. I've eaten a lot of this. Never mind. Never mind. I know what the yams are now. Okay. 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 We do have a lot of candied yams. I was right. I was right. And I think we also have yam cakes, yam ice cream, yam milkshakes, mashed yam. That's all I can remember from it. I think there was also a salad made out of yam. Thank you for the pad. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I was wrong. Yeah, I've eaten a lot of yams. And holy shit, look at that puppy fish. 420, 37. It costs a lot more than even a butter fish. Okay, we are going to fish there. We're gonna go out there because it's only till 3 p.m. We're gonna go out there. We're gonna make some moolah. We're gonna make some big cash, some big bucks. Yeah, that puppy fish was worth it. If it was possible, I would eat some kind of fishing food, but I don't really have a kitchen yet. So we have to make do. We need to make a... Cork bobber? Yeah, I coked cork bobber. No, trap bobber. No, cork bobber. Or trap. Cork bobber. I hope this will be worth it. One, two, three, four, five. And then ten of this. May you be worth it. That puppy fish was worth it. It was hella worth it, my friend. Hella worth it. Okay. Here is our agenda. We're gonna buy... Wait, wait. No, no. I didn't see the message. Oh, okay, heck it. I'm assuming Willy opens at... 
nine. So we can probably water for a bit, I guess. Good job, you figured it out. Thank you. I, I thought yam was like a whole new veggie or fruit that I had not heard about. But I guess we just used a different name here. That's why I, I wasn't able to like know about it immediately. Okay, let's water all of this. Oh wait, why am I even watering? I'm wasting my time. I could just go there later. Yeah, I could just go there later, right? Right? Hardwood, corals. Okay, remind me not to sell off any corals that we get in the near future. Let's give this um, basket to Linus. We get money. I just team or bake yams. They are so soft. I had not tried normal steamed or bake yams yet, but I would love to try it. I think I could get some later and I could show you candied yams and the normal yams. Also, hi. Hi, my friend. You need this? Thank you. This means a lot to me. I'm sorry for turning off your. Wow. I'm very sorry for turning this off. I feel bad now. Okay, I'm going to buy some fishing stuff. I hope I could like get a lot of puppy fish today. Because it would be so worth it. Because if we get like 10, 10 puffy fishes, then our expenditures would be extremely worth it. Um, let me get here. Hi. Okay. So we're going to buy one trout soup. Then should we buy a trap bobber or a quirk bobber? Let's try a cork bobber. Okay. So we spent like 1,000. What is this? Hi. What the hell is that? But okay. We're going to that river again. At a slightly earlier time. And this time, though, we're ready. It's time for round two, puppy fish. Okay, I have five minutes of plus one to my fishing and nothing seems to be biting today wow fucking worth it. no ha huh. yo yo okay 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 i got you i got you i got a big chonky bar right now you can't escape me my friend How? How are you doing this? I have a very large bar right now, but you're still managing to escape me. Yeah, give me more of that. Give me more of that puppy fish. That's what we like seeing here. That puppy fish. Each puppy fish is 400. No, this is probably around 500. Since it's gold.
Hi, I am back. For real. This time. Internet was slightly wonky, but hi. Bum, 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 bum. Hi there, everyone. I hope you're having at least a comfy time with a slight disconnection today. We lost to a minnow. We lost to a minnow. I don't even know what to say anymore. We lost to a, to a fish that didn't even try to fight. What was that a new record? Was that the largest? I think we caught the largest minnow ever, which is around uh, three inches. <laughs> it's so small. <laughs> it is extremely small. Pum, 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 pum. Puppy fishes and the butter fishes. They are all missing. I prepared for this day and uh, they aren't here. Artifacts. Okay. Use Blitz dot GG. <laughs> pump 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 hi okay i think i just returned right now i thought i returned earlier but hi hi it's me melly i totally didn't just come back right now totally hi <laughs> though Please let it be a puppy fish. It is not a puppy fish. No. I fished for the entire day and I only got one puppy fish. <laughs> this was not worth it. I think I just got lucky yesterday with how I got a puppy fish and a butterfish. Yeah, I 
think we can go out of here. And maybe we could check upstairs. If we could like have a fish pond upgraded or anything. Oh, I think I should have at least sub submitted the these minerals. These artifacts. No. They were all out. Hmm. <laughs> Wait, I could only submit one? I thought we had like two of them. I thought we had not submitted the ruby and uh, the ancient sword yet, but apparently I'm wrong. I'm very wrong. Hi, Mayor. You want some of this? Why are you going to Marnie's house at this time? At 5.30 at night, are you gonna do some weird ass stuff? I think we can just cut trees for today and do other stuff okay Hopefully it's a money. Have we watered our plants for today? I don't think we had. Nope, we had not. I think we've watered this part. No, we had not. I was wrong. I was immediately wrong.
pam 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 Oh, I don't think we've cared for animal for our animals yet. Oh shit, I think I might have even forgotten to feed them. If I'm right. Yes, I did. I did, I did, I did. Well, I think they can care for themselves for today. I need to cut some wood. wood. Some hard wood. You know, we've never tried fishing here. I wonder what we would get if we like try to fish here. Okay, I I guess we're getting nothing but trash, but let's give it another try. And maybe, just maybe. Last? Please don't tell me the secret area is all just trash and just for hardwood. I think it is just for hardwood. I think it is. I think it is. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, so it's actually just normal food. Normal fishy. Let's get some of this, some of this. There's so many blackberries that I think we could make a lot of jam out of them. Or use them for just the extra energy that they give. Which is like 45 and that's like super useful. Pump 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 pump. Tum tum tum. Should I put this here? No, I don't have space. I actually don't have space for this. Um, what can I? Oh, we can remove this for this and then this, put that over here. Actually, I think I'm pushing it very hard. I barely have time left. Look at it. I'm pushing it so much. Run, 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 run. Run. I hope I find the fishes. Nice seafoam pudding. Magnet. Pump, pump, pump. We were still able to get a lot of money, actually. Puppy fish is 525. At gold, okay, so that's still decent. Tiger trout are 200 plus, also decent. 
Rubies are 250 each. Gotta keep that in mind. In case we really do need money and stuff like that. Okay, okay. I think this can be our last day before we go. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. Tell me a shot. The spirits are very happy today. Oh, wait. That means we can do it. We can go fishing and we might get thousands of money. Ten thousands, I'm betting. Oh, beer. So beer takes only a day to make. And this is 200. I think we should have raised a lot more wheat. Cause this is fast money. Very fast money. Okay. Actually, I've experienced a lot of frame drops and I just got wait, so I, I just got a message here. Let me check what this message is. Okay, change of plans. Um, I think I might need to uh, end here. Let me, let me, let me at least exit that. It, there we go. There. Yeah, I think I might need to end this today. This, uh, I think we've been going on for like two, four hours. Yeah, four hours. Hmm. Yeah. So I think we might have to end early today because I just saw the message that we might have an internet maintenance in around like an hour or two and that we might get a disconnection earlier than that time. So yeah, I'll actually be an hour ahead of the announcement and probably stop it here since we've gone on for four hours yeah, enough rest till um, thank you all for stopping by though it was hella comfy thank you for like being able to watch a lot of videos together mm -hmm. and I hope to see you all again tomorrow or the day after tomorrow for some Elden Ring and stuff like that. Oh god, yeah, I just looked at some people. Um, yeah, Comfy, thank you for staying with me, Arashi, and for everyone else. It was comfy. It was awesome being here. I don't think any of my friends are online right now. So, uh, yeah, we could end here. Thank you all again for stopping by. Uh, see you all again tomorrow at an earlier time, hopefully. And uh, yeah, bye bye. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, Arashi. And to everyone who stopped by.